Started, okay. We have to do something. This is in honor of Two Player Productions. We have to clap, right? Should I clap with the phone no, in my hand? No, you don't clap. I clap. I'm the clapper. Hello, Psycho Baggers. It's Tim here with another update of the progress on Psychonauts 2 from my house here in quarantine, like we all are, maybe. I hope so. But uh, I hope you are doing well and you are safe. And um, I'm here with my uh, lovely crew, my daughter, living on the camera, my wife over there in our very cozy office situation. And if you're curious about Psychonauts 2, let me give you a little uh, uh, update on what's going on with the team and the game. So uh, it seemed like just a few weeks ago, months ago, like a year ago, we were all just in our office together. It's weird to see the footage now of us hanging out in the office together and... Um, I have a cuckoo clock. It makes a uh, meeting is interesting. Beautiful, isn't it? We were all together in the office and we are hiring a new programmer. And right, where are you, Jason? Where are you? Hey, stand up, please. Please stand up. Jason. Hello. Welcome. But the most exciting thing going on was a little hummingbird that was building a nest outside our office, which captivated us and the nation and the world for many weeks as we watched her raise her babies and force feed them vomit. Uh, it was very beautiful and inspiring and hard to compete with during our team meetings. Yeah, good job. That's a good bird, that's a good bird. I don't know what else to say about that. What should I say about that? Are you drawing on the screen? Maybe. Don't draw on the screen. Now I'm home, I have a little hummingbird feeder out there now, which is the best. I swear hummingbirds come to it. I put beer in it, I think that's, no, it's not beer, it's sugar and water. Turbinado. Back then we were discussing what we're going to show at E3 and then the question started to become uh, is there going to be an E3 and then the answer was no there's not going to be an E3 so what are we going to do and then there was a question of uh, some companies are working from home should we let people work at home more and should we make people work at home. Um, does anyone here feel strongly about shutting the company down because some places have done that and then uh, it seemed like overnight everything changed. Uh, San Francisco schools closed down a lot of us had to go home Friday uh, and uh, and test run the video conferencing because I was home uh, ahead of most of the team. Yeah, Tim, we're all here. You want to kick it off? All right. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Hi. Uh, and then by the next Monday, we were all home and we were all sitting there on our video conferencing, having meetings and trying to pretend everything was normal, even though it was really stressful. A lot of people were, um, you know, putting on a good face, but it was it was very stressful. Uh, People worried about you know, the health of their loved ones, themselves, and how to stay safe, and what's gonna happen to the world. But still, we're at home, I'm at home, like a lot of you, just trying to stay uh, healthy and sane, and trying to get outside once in a while when it's safe. Uh, I'm uh, here in my backyard, which is an exotic and faraway location right now. Here's my house. I can hold, my house is so tiny, I can hold it in the palm of my hand. It's got one bathroom. There's our neighbor's dog. Our neighbor's dog broke into our yard and pooped. So in the midst of all that, uh, we've hired a new gameplay programmer. It was weird to introduce someone to the team on uh, on video. Okay, hi everybody. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming Julie Gregg to Double Fine Productions. Julie, where are you? Now I'm gonna play the game where I find your face. There you are, you got a little yellow box around you. Hi, Julie Gregg. And she's great. And we've also brought on a few new cinematic artists and other new people, even in this crazy time, because it's an adjustment, but we're doing it for as long as we need to. And it's been, it's been really interesting, and I think the team has really been doing an amazing job of staying connected both uh, in terms of work and productivity, but also socially, trying to get together and do things like watch movies together and play games together, do yoga together, and all the things that we uh, used to like in, uh, doing with each other. Um, now it's that, plus also cats, pets, children bursting into frame. Here, let's create a monster by the wind. It's going to ruin every take. It's passing through our... Dark garage, showing you a little bit of what it looks like. And ah! hello, welcome to my car. So things are perfectly normal here in my studio, my uh, soundproof studio in my garage, which is my car. You can see I have a um, good supply of Chef RD in case things get really bad. So don't worry about that. We've been doing all these things um, to be stay in touch with each other because uh, Double Fine has a great culture and a great. Um, we like to hang out with each other. Everyone's doing their best and staying very positive and getting all the work done. And um, the game's coming along miraculously is a, a testament to um, the team. I feel like I'm in that uh, car karaoke show, but I'm all by myself in the dark. It would be great if like a ghost or something appeared right outside the window. Um, 
So that's our update. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching it and I hope you are staying safe and staying home and doing the best you can to reach out to your loved ones and check in with people and check in with yourself and make sure that things are going as good as they can and hope that this will all be over soon. And until then, thanks for watching um, and see you next time. Bye. Hello, Psycho Backers and... <laughs> You're messing up so much. Well, rather, you think you're messing up and you're not. Hmm. Anyway. Okay.